We're now moving on to give the ability for users to like things. And I say things because we're going to set this up in a way where we can't just like statuses, we can like anything. We're not actually going to be including that now, but we're going to set it up so if later on you wanted to be able to like a photo, or if you wanted to be able to like a user's profile or anything, uh, we're going to make this really easy with polymorphic relationships. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create the users, uh, the likable migration. So uh, we'll head over to our terminal as usual and just start to create this migration. So we run PHP artisan make migration, create likable table. And we'll just add an E in there for likable. The reason we say likable is because it's a polymorphic relationship and we're assuming anything can be likable if we set it up in that way. Uh, and that's why we don't call it likes or something like that. So let's go ahead and create that migration and we'll go ahead and fill this out now. So let's close everything off that we don't need. And over in our database folder under migrations, once again, we have this likable uh, migration and we'll go ahead and fill this out now. So again, with our schema builder, we're going to create our likable table. Have our table there and we can say increments ID. So this is uh, going to obviously relate to a user. So we're going to have an integer field with a user ID. Now, this is slightly different. If you've not looked at polymorphic relationships with Laravel before, uh, what we have here is we have a likable ID and a likable type. And I'll explain what these are in just a moment. So likable ID and a likable type, which is going to be a string. And I'm going to include my timestamps on here as usual. So let's just add them in there. So a likable ID is an ID of anything within any model that can be liked. So it gives you the flexibility. If later on we implemented a photos table and we wanted to like photo one, the likable ID would be one and the likable ID, likable type would be chatty forward slash models forward slash photo as our model. So it gives us the flexibility to like anything. We're not just tying it down to statuses, which is really important. And we could really do that with commenting as well or whatever. So it's, you know, polymorphic relationships are flexible. So for our down method, we're going to drop our likable table. Let's run this migration. So PHP artisan migrate. And as always, we'll head over to our database and just check that that is uh, all good. So over in likable, we have got a likable ID, a likable type, and everything looks good. So now that we've done that, in the next part, we're going to set up our like model. And then we'll look at how we have these polymorphic relationships between our statuses and our like.